NFL player props here on Price Picks for Sunday, November 26th. This is the NFL slate for just the morning or the AM and PM slate here on Sunday. Before we get started, link in the description below. Hop into our premium Discord at nine dollars and thirty cents per month. It's where I post all the plays I'm making on Price Picks. We also have other premium cappers in there as well. They post all their plays, research, and analysis. Super positive community in there. Everyone really just trying to help each other cash. I also want to mention I'm not a gambling expert, and this is not financial advice. These are simply plays I'm personally looking at making, hopefully giving you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions here. Again, no one's pressing submit on those parlays other than yourselves. And also, I want to mention we're currently doing a Black Friday sale or all the way probably till Monday. Um, 50% off your first month in the premium Discord, you guys. Link in the description below for that. You can use code FRIDAY. Um, it's normally $9.30 per month, so 50% off is under $5 for the first month. Link in the description below, you guys. Check out that. But let's get into it, you guys. Uh, NFL, it's crazy that we're here in week 12. Uh, I got two player props that I do like from this slate. Let's not waste any time. Let's just get right into it. So the first play that I'm targeting is going to be a wide receiver prop. and It's going to be Michael Pittman. I like his over six receptions. Michael Pittman has just been an absolute target monster um, since really Gardner Minshew, all, honestly all season, but specifically since Gardner Minshew has, um, I guess, essentially become the quarterback uh, for the Indianapolis Colts. Now we look at specifically um, this matchup right Colts versus uh Tampa Bay and this is a home game inside the dome for Indiana Indianapolis obviously I would say teams just offenses play much better move the ball down the field much more efficiently when the game is played in the dome and a two and a half point spread 44 and a half over under so Vegas expecting some points here we look at Michael Pitt and oh, Pittman sorry over on outlier again link in the description you get a seven day free trial with outlier this is a research betting tool that I do use every single day over five and a half receptions, he's currently minus 160, minus 154 on over five and a half receptions. And you can see here, he's gone over five and a half receptions, seven of his last 10 games. And those seven overs are eight receptions, and he's got two games with nine receptions. So doing a little bit of a deeper dive for Michael Pittman, the target share has just been absolutely massive. You can see here, since, I mean, he's seeing five plus targets in every game this season but like since Gardner Minshew became the quarterback which I believe is this game against the Rams 5 7 14 5 13 8 and 12 targets okay but specifically you guys besides the target share being massive like he 41 26 27 I mean he's just dominating this target share completely Gardner Minshew he's his first read right pretty much every time he, he snaps the ball and he drops back to pass but this matchup against the Buccaneers we look at the Buccaneers over the last four weeks Tampa Bay Buccaneers are giving up the most receiving yards to wide receivers, the third most receptions, the uh, they're just getting dominated, third most targets, the second most total fantasy points to wide receivers. It's just absolutely crazy what's happening here um, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers secondary. And if we look at Michael Pittman, like I said, look at all these overs, and his receiving yards line is at 70 and a half. Uh, I'm pivoting and taking receptions here, only because look how many times he's gone over six receptions, but gone under 70 and a half receiving yards. One, two, three different times he's gone under receiving yards but has smashed the over on the receptions line um, i really really like this spot here michael pittman against the blitz is just absolutely elite he sees an insane target share so you can see here Tampa bay blitz is the third most in the nfl 38.3 percent blitz percentage and shout out to ja gibbs underscore 23 on twitter you guys again check out him great research tool for all gambling research uh nfl just research dfs research um DraftKings, whatever you guys like about nfl research check out this guy on twitter look at this tweet the blitz the buccaneers blitz at a tar third highest rate 40 percent in the nfl michael pittman has a 42 percent target share when Mark gardner Minshew has been blitz also tampa bay will be without top corner jamal dean in week 12 i mean aside from tampa bay just being absolutely horrendous in the secondary and passing i mean this tweet really really speaks volumes here in my opinion now let's just look like let's just look here i'm gonna really quick wide receivers game log this season versus tampa bay like let's just take a look at this guys this is it's gonna be disgusting right look at look at the, just look at this monster game some of these dudes have had almond Ra 12 catches for 124 yards aj brown nine catches for 131 justin jefferson nine for 150 noah brown six for 153 tank dell six for 114 drake london six for 54 dj moore six for 104 so it's just been a pretty like in my opinion an absolute smash spot across the board uh for wide receivers specifically that are you know being targeted 
um, against a horrible secondary like Tampa Bay. Like Tampa Bay's secondary is absolutely dreadful. I like Michael Pittman over six receptions here. I think three in each half for push potential um, is pretty elite. So the second play here is going to be one we took last week and he pushed for us. It's going to be Trey McGride, but I'm pivoting. I'm to pr- pivoting and taking his receiving yards here um, against the LA Rams. Have to go back to him. Just the target share that he's seeing um, in his role kind of in this offense. Looking at this game, Rams Cardinals in Arizona, Dome Stadium, whether or not going to be a factor. Marquise Brown is questionable. Zach Pascal questionable here, but he's not a factor. Um, and 45 over-under, 2.5 point spread. So Vegas projecting significant amount of points here, one of the higher over-unders on the day, obviously a division rivalry game. And Trey McBride has obviously seen a massive uptick in usage with Zach Ertz being out, right? We look at uh, Trey McBride's kind of game log in this. He, he Since Kyler Murray's been back, right? Nine targets and seven targets in two games. Against the Atlanta, he had 133, nine targets, five catches, or eight catches for 131. I mean, we can kind of see, I mean, Trey, Trey McBride, he's an elite athlete, right? I think he measures up draft profile, like elite top 5% as far as his athleticism. So, I mean, he's a very good player. Um, yards after the catch is there. Yards per throw, yards, air yards is there as well. But looking at Trey McBride over on Outlier, again, link in the description, seven day free trial. Uh, he's minus 125 on DraftKings to go over 51 and a half. And it's interesting because Trey McBride earlier this season, Actually had a game where he was sharing the snaps with obviously with Zach Ertz. And in that game, again with again with Josh Jobs, Josh Dobbs as a quarterback, five targets, four catches for sixty two yards. Okay. And I mean his line is probably gonna come out, his reception line is gonna come out at five and a half, five. And he had four catches for sixty two yards. That's because the Rams give up the second most yards per catch or yards per throw to the tight end position. Right? Eight point eight eight, right? They don't give up a ton of receptions. I mean, still on the I would say on the upper echelon or eleventh fewest receptions to the tight end position but the yards per throw is just absolutely elite and you can see like tight ends that have kind of done damage in the yards category with not that many catches i mean dallas Gardner eight catches for 117 trey mcbride like i said earlier this season against the rams on the road four catches for 62 yards luke musgrave three catches for 51 yards ogletree three catches for 48 ferguson four for 47 molly cox one for 35 tanner hudson two for 30 so I mean, Trey McBride gets five catches in this game. 51 and a half should be pretty attainable for him. I mean, he's just been dominating. Like, if we look at the last four, uh, three weeks, Trey McBride, second in the NFL in total air yards as a uh, tight end, which, again, is um, receiving yards not included yards after the catch. And we know how athletic he is. We know the Rams are, like, 28th in like total missed tackles here. I just think it's a great spot for Trey McBride, who, again, plays much better at home, obviously, if you look at uh, his kind of splits of the season. Home versus away, 277 compared to 184. Grass, 327 compared to 134 on turf. Um, just a variety of different uh, splits here for Trey McBride that I think really, really benefit him um, in this matchup against the Rams. So here are the two YouTube plays for this video. I don't want to drag this video on too long. Again, all the links in the description below. Take a look. Uh, and join our premium discord drop a like on this video hit the subscribe button and as always let's cash